gracious and loving God, we gather as one family, always striving to be one heart and one mind in the sacred heart of Jesus. Cor unum et anima una in corde Jesu. May your Holy Spirit bless all gathered here today. Bless all of our loved ones and fill this place with your wisdom and peace. May all of us and all who enter this school be filled with your love, generosity, and compassion. As we are surrounded by your light, we pray that you may bless all members of our large Sacred Heart family, both here and throughout our city and our world. May our year be filled with the spirit of Cor Unum, the generosity of St. Madeline Sophie, and the courage of Philippine Duchenne. And we pray all this in your name. Amen. about this year's thing, or two little words, which to many may sound like gibberish, but to those of us here, they mean so much more. Our community is not bound to just these four schools. Our community reaches far beyond. Our community is one that spans across continents and oceans, and crosses countless barriers, both physical and spiritual. Our worldwide community is one to be revered, and our poor school community is one to be loved. Here I am, a 13-year-old boy, standing from not only my school, but all four of our schools in the Sacred Heart. Most kids would feel extremely uncomfortable right now, or even sheer terror. But because I'm with my Sacred Heart family, I feel like I'm sitting in my own home with my own family. The home that we have today would have never been if not for St. Madeline Sophie Barat, who founded the Schools of the Sacred Heart. St. Madeline Sophie is the epitome of what we aim to be as children of the Sacred Heart. Strong individuals who are aware of the injustice in our world and strive to make a difference. Through the Sacred Heart goals, she teaches us to trust ourselves, trust others, and trust our faith. She teaches us the love of learning. She teaches us how to build a community and she teaches us how to live our lives. St. Madeline has empowered each and every one of us to reach success. So now I encourage you, at the onset of this year, to take your own leaps of faith, to defy the odds against you, and truly grasp the importance of this education. Some of you are here for the first time. Some of you have been here for many years. The duration does not matter. What is important is that you are a child of the Sacred Heart. You come to be an educator, but an educator surrounded in a community filled with values based on faith tradition. Um, so you're able to develop the whole child. And that's a really important thing to me, to not just focus on any one part, but bring the, the whole child developmentally along. And that's what Schools of the Sacred Heart, I believe, does. I think we're in very good hands for the future. The kids get it. They understand what Sacred Heart is about. When I listened to each one of those speeches and I listened to what the students called each other to do and to be in their world, I thought these children are really getting what Sacred Heart is about. And that made me feel really spectacular. You know, and it, it, in one sense it's about tradition, but it's not about traditional stuff. It's about the, really the deep down tradition of faith of values, of intellectual curiosity, of critical thinking, of looking at our world. And I, I heard that from each one of those kids. So I thought, well, I don't know about the adult community, but I do know about the kids that the kids are on the right track. So that's great. Mm -hmm.